There are five things I would advise not to say to rich people, especially if you want to be on their level without giving away any of your authority. Some of the things I'm going to mention, people actually say all the time, but if you want to blend in with the rich, you want to feel comfortable around them. While at the same time be that likable woman, there are a few things you should think about. Number one, don't ask rich people, so what do you do? You would be surprised that it's actually against etiquette to ask people directly what they work with. It's kind of intrusive, and especially with rich people, you know that they are doing quite well in life, and sometimes when you ask them what they're doing, you might come across as an opportunistic person rather than somebody who's just doing small talk. I guess it's because rich people are kind of always on the watch out for people who are there to take uh, advantage of them, who have a hidden agenda. They are a little bit more paranoid than the average Joe, which is why you should Think about the type of topics that you bring out when you start talking to a rich person. So they have their own kind of red flag alert system happening whenever certain topics arise in. And talking, for instance, a lot about work, what somebody does, and really get into the investigation of it, that doesn't send out the right signals, and you don't want to send out those signals. But if you want to find out what somebody does for a living, there are just other, more elegant ways around it. Number one, it actually starts with patience. The more you talk to a person, sooner or later you are going to find out what that person works with. You can also stimulate the conversation by talking, for instance, about your own line of work, by trying to make the person open up somehow, by discussing other topics, maybe business-related topics. If there is the opportunity for it, always ask for the person's business card. There you will have the company listed, you will also have the person's title. If none of them are listed there, then that is is usually a warning sign. If you really have to ask somebody, then there is a better way to ask instead of the usual, what do you do? Ask them, what industry are you in? Because that kind of gives them the room for, they can decide how much they want to reveal. And you are not being intrusive, you're not being too direct, and you're simply just doing a little bit more low-key type of investigation. If you show rich people that you are not fishing for their title or you are not investigating who they are and what they do and so on, that is going to be a big plus for you because they will start building a trust for you and with trust you will reap a lot of benefits in the future. Number two. Never say things just to impress rich people, to pretend that you are on their level. Like I mentioned, because rich people, they hold the wealth, the status or the high position in their career, they're used to having people around them trying very, very hard to impress them. But did you know that you look actually extremely insecure when you are trying too hard? Rich people will already know that you are a nobody when you're trying very hard to kind of play a somebody. So while they're talking talking to you and if they're polite and friendly and so on, that doesn't mean anything usually. Most often they have already placed you in a category in their head, meaning that you are not part of them and you're perhaps never going to be on their level. Now I know that we all might have like interesting things that have happened in our past. Maybe we have a few milestones we wouldn't mind, you know, showcasing a little bit and we have perhaps an interesting life CV. That's great, but it doesn't mean the whole world has to know about it. There is a perfect balance with how much you can actually reveal about yourself and put yourself in a positive light without kind of, you know, coming across as you're trying too hard. So it's about finding that perfect balance. But I would say, as a general rule, do not try and like name drop places you've been to or, or name drop people you know or things that you have acquired. Make sure that this information reach them in a more organic or alternative way. The best way is to have somebody talk about you in a positive light. That is the best way if you want to impress somebody and then really take note of your accomplishments. But you don't want to be the one who walks up to somebody and just do monologue rant of, I've done this and this and this and I'm so good and I know all these things and it just pushes people away. And this is a general rule perhaps, but with rich people especially, 
they are used to having this type of approach where people are just so desperate and trying so hard to impress them and just kind of make a statement. You don't want to fall into that group. Take my advice, stay modest, be discreet, and maybe team up with a friend who can speak highly about you. Number three, don't be curious about the rich person's money or possessions. <laughs> okay, obvious one, right? Ladies, <laughs> let me tell you one thing. Do you know how many times in high society I've come across women, or actually I've even come across a few men too, when people start like asking such direct and actually awkward questions like, like, do you have a yacht? What car do you drive? Are you on the Forbes list? I've heard all kinds of bizarre variations, and I know that some say it as a joke, but you know that it's not really a joke they do want to know that. But it's just not okay to be this kind of investigator that I mentioned, where you're just snooping around and trying to, I don't know, gather as much information as possible. The point is not to gather information. The point is to get to know a person kind of naturally, build a relationship. We might be curious and we might want certain answers, but we just have to kind of stay patient, put that aside, and never show our curiosity. Oh, there's another variation I forgot to say. This one, like, oh, it's so bad. I have a yacht, what about you? <laughs> when people want to kind of find out answers in like a non-direct way. Uh-uh, that doesn't work either. That is like, you, you see through that immediately. Number four. Never talk about your own money or possessions in a negative way. So this is an interesting variation because I wasn't going to tell you about the fact that you shouldn't brag about your money or your possessions because that one is obvious and we kind of already covered the whole bragging part, how it's a no-go. Even talking negatively about your financial situation or material situation is also a very taboo topic that should be avoided with people that you don't know. Rich people have red flags alerts happening all the time. So if you start bringing up your own money, you start complaining, they might start thinking that you are fishing for something because you know that they're perhaps better off than you are, that they think that you are fishing for some form of help from them. This doesn't mean you can never talk negatively about your financial situation. No, there is a big exception to this rule, but I talk about it in great detail in my online course, The Seven Step Formula to High Society. But as a standard rule, do not tell a rich person that you're broke or out of money or you can't afford this or you're complaining that things are so expensive and you can't afford it. Ugh, it's uncomfortable. It's awkward. You're just sending off the wrong impression. And honestly, talking about finances when you don't know a person, it is a general no-go rule. Last one, number five, don't say nice to meet you. This might be a bit of a petty remark because this is used by everyone and everywhere. When you say nice to meet you, when you get introduced to someone or you shake hands, the thing is that when you say nice to meet you, it comes across a bit submissive kind of middle class style. Like you're trying very hard to be polite, to be nice, to be liked, and that gives away your authority. When you give away your authority, you are signaling that you are not on the same level as the rich. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong with being nice and polite, and I'm not advising you to stop being that, not at all. But there is just a different variation that you can start using, a variation that is actually used by old money and upper class. They don't really say, nice to meet you. They say, how do you do? It's very polite, it's formal, yet very neutral, but at the same time it's confident and you're not giving away your authority by any form of submissive tone in the phrase. This phrase will definitely make you sound refined and educated and, you know, that you're part of a certain level of people. That was it for me, ladies. Don't forget to watch my next video.